Steve Jobs. So Steve Jobs stars Michael Fassbender, Seth Rogen, Jeff Daniels, and is directed by Danny Boyle. Steve Jobs is played by Michael Fassbender and just tells the story of his life. You know, Steve Jobs' life, how he created the iPhone, how he got shift on the iPhone. He didn't really create the iPhone in this movie, but he created like the computer, the Apple computer, he created Apple in general, how he got shifted everywhere, how he's pretty much a hurtful person, how you know, he had this daughter that he has to reconnect with. And it's just a movie of Steve Jobs' life. I really did like Steve Jobs in the movie, not him, because he was pretty much an A-hole. But the movie is pretty good. Here's why. Because the pacing is so good. The way they did the pacing, I just love it. The movie just kept on flowing and flowing and flowing. I just really thought it was smooth. There's one scene in particular I have to talk about. I'm not going to spoil the scene. <clears throat> but I'm just going to tell you kind of what happens. Jeff Daniels and Michael Fassbender, they have an argument in this like this little room. Kind of looks not a diner, but I don't know what it is. But they're having this. That's that's not the point. They're having this fight, and they're just going back and forth. They're just they're just yelling at each other. They're just yelling and yelling. They're just going. They're just going back and forth. And then the music starts shifting the tone a bit. You see flashbacks. It is amazing. And I, but the second I saw that bit, I was like, I need to talk about this in my movie review. This is just so good. Um, and again, same with Seth Rogen. Uh, Seth Rogen and Steve Jobs have this argument in one scene, and it, there's no, it's, like, there's no real flash, there's no flashbacks in this bit, but. It's still great. And again, the music is shifting the tone. They're yelling at each other, going back and forth. It's awesome. Um, there are some great performances. Michael Fassbender did a fantastic job. Michael, you should win. Not exactly win. Maybe, maybe he should, but seriously. Kate, uh, Kate Winslet, she was good. She was all right. She wasn't fantastic. But you know what? I applaud her for her role. Should I think she should win the Oscar? No. I just don't think she should. But, you know, I just don't think she should win. Because uh, cause I think there are some other ladies in that uh, pile of nominations that also, they're just better than Kate Winslet in this movie. But no, still, Kate Winslet did a good job. Um... I think the movie went a bit too long at a stage. I started, I started going, okay, near the end I was like, maybe just trim it down a bit. The thing is with Steve Jobs, things got back on track and then they just fall down, mostly because of him. Because uh, he just, he, he, he wants everything his way. I think it was a really good showing of, of his life. How Michael Fassbender betrayed him. He's not likeable, but he's not hes not bad. You just don't know if you're meant to root for him. You're just saying to yourself, am I meant to like this guy or am I meant to hate this guy? Am I meant to like this guy or am I meant to hate this guy? You keep on saying it in your head over and over and over again. And I love how movies do that to you. Like Nightcrawler did that to me with Jake Gyllenhaal. Seriously, was, you just don't know if you should root for him. But anyway, guys, I'm going to give Steve Jobs a... Steve Jobs a 7.7 because I really did enjoy Steve Jobs. It's a great film. I definitely check it out if you can. Um, and yeah, bye.